Hi, so we will be discussing the experiment to find the weights of given solid objects in Newtons by using a spring balance. Starting with the apparatus, we will need a spring balance, sample 1 and sample 2. In this case, sample 1 is a rock and sample 2 is a metal object. First part of the procedure is that to find the least count of E. To find the least count, we must first find the 0 gram mark and the next numbered marking which is 10 grams. But you will notice that there are 10 divisions between the 0 gram mark and the 10 gram mark which means that the lowest that this spring balance can read is 1 gram. Next we will understand the components of the spring balance. First is the calibrated spring which is suspended from the top to the marker and this spring is made in such a way that under its own weight it will show exactly 0 grams. Next is the scale that is the markings made on the left and the right side that help us read the weight. Next is the marker which is the knife edge that shows us what is the reading on the scale. Starting with sample 1, we will take the sample which is a rock and use the loop on the thread provided to suspend it on the spring balance. Making sure that the object and the spring does not bob or swing from left to right, we carefully lower it down. Then we take a closer look and write down the reading that's displayed on the spring balance. Moving on to sample 2, which is a metal cube. We take the string attached, use the loop on the string and suspend it again in the same way as we did for sample 1, gently lowering it down, making sure that it does not bob or swing. By doing so, we ensure that we get accurate measurements. Now again, taking a closer look, we will re uh, read the reading on the spring balance and write it down. Now let's move on to the second part of the experiment that is to convert the readings that we've got from grams to newtons. First we need to understand the relationship between kgs and newtons and then grams to newtons. That is I have already written the readings that I had got for sample 1 and sample 2 on the right hand side. Now moving on to the actual relationship between newtons and kgs. It is defined as 1 kg equals 9.8 newtons. And as we know 1 kg is 1000 grams and is equal to 9.8 newtons. We write this expression. And from here, we can get 1 gram is equal to 9.8 newtons, the whole divided by 1000. You just cross multiply this down here. Now what we can do is we can use this expression, this relationship between grams to newtons to get our uh, observed values from grams to newtons. So for sample 1, it will be 18 grams times this value which is equal to 0 0.1764 newtons and we can follow the same for sample 2 which is 36 grams multiplied by 9.8 into 9.8 divided by 1000 which will be 0 0.3528 newtons. And now that we've found the answers 
for sample 1 from grams to newtons and sample 2 for grams to newtons we've finished the second part of the experiment as well thank you